FeatureCam 2015 allows for easier programming of five axis parts with a large number of holes due to the ability to represent patterns of holes in five axis. This new functionality allows changes to be made to multiple holes at once, reducing programming time. In this example, we have a five axis oil and gas drill bit with multiple holes located around the part. To program these holes, I can go to my new feature wizard and I can select to create a hole extracting with feature recognition. We can then choose to recognize holes along a specific vector or we can simply recognize all of the holes on the part. In this case we can see a preview in blue of all holes recognized and for this example I'm simply going to select all of the holes and say finish. Now if we look to the part view what we can see is feature cam has recognized all of the holes as individual features. Now if we wanted to make a change to a group of holes at a certain Z level what we would have to do is go into each of the individual features make the change that we wish and repeat for the next hole. This can be a time consuming process. I'm therefore going to undo the programming of the holes and I'm going to recreate the features using a new method of patterning holes in 5-axis. This time I'm going to go to my new feature wizard and simply choose to create a hole and also make a pattern from this. My hole is both 10 millimeters in diameter and depth so I can say next and I'm going to use a new method of patterning radially around an arbitrary axis. Again I can say next and here I can determine both the orientation and location of my hole. So firstly for the orientation I can choose the vector direction. Note I'm using my cylinder center snap mode to help me do this. And for the location I can pick the top center of the cylinder like so. I can then say next, choose the number of holes and the relevant spacing angle. I can say preview, check that looks good and at this stage I can finish and accept the default choice in strategy. I'm now going to create another pattern of holes this time I'm going to use interactive feature recognition to recognize the first hole. I'm going to select the vector in which to recognize the hole. Say next and we can see feature cam has found two hole features along the specific vector. I'm going to select the hole that I wish to program, simply say finish and with that hole feature still selected I can choose to create a pattern located radially around an arbitrary axis. Again I'm going to choose the number and relevant spacing angle and I can simply preview and finish. So this time we were able to group together two patterns of holes as we can see from the part view. Now if we wish to make changes we're able to do so very easily. For example, I can go into my pattern, I'm able to change the depth of the hole, I can add a chamfer, and under the strategy I can choose to do a pilot drill instead of a spot drill. So I'm now in a position where I can simulate the programming of my part. So there we can see the pilot drills and spot drilling followed by the drilling and chamfers for the highest Z level hole features.